Hey everyone, welcome to another video, and today I'll be showing two deck profiles. Finally, my blue eyes deck profile in a Zodiac deck. It's not a normal Zodiac deck, I like to call it the Zodiac Swing deck. It's a new type of deck that I created myself. And a swing deck is where you make one big beat stick and then you swing into your opponent and win the duel. Just like you know, the Zodiac Swing Deck, um, it's all about stalling till you can get your Zodiac Cathy to max attack points. And it's like Skull Servants is a swing deck because you're powering up your team with Skull Servants just to swing your points and win the duel. That's an example of a swing deck. And then I have my Blue Watch deck that is focusing. This is the funny part about my Blue Eyes deck. It's not just focusing on Blue Eyes, it's also focusing on Chaos Max. I will start with the lower tier deck, my Zodiac deck. So, this deck is not made, this deck is made to just swing into your opponent, but it has lots of stuff. So, when I only have two of these, I could have got the person that wouldn't let me trade to get three, so. But I run two whip tails, two curry bandits, because you have a set like two, three, four, five, six, seven. You only have eight monsters in your deck. They get so you have a low chance. Then I run one rapture, just because. Fairy blade, because you can discard. My buddy last, because once into the grave. So you can also use it if you mess up with the Zodiac One Tail. You can normally send your Rapture send this to the grave and then add one tail back to your hand. Princess Piper. It's because you have to smash some something. And that's all the monsters from the Zodiac monsters and stuff. There were two swords of villain light. Stop from the attack turns. Two gold sarcophagus so you can get two cards in two turns. One shred of greed for draw power. One shuffle reborn. Because you could bring back a zodiac just in case you don't need more zodiacs, or you, you need to bring Blood Tail back. And so, release. Oh, and this is also another monster you set to the bear, bring back Gold Tail. So, there's nine monsters. So, at least you can banish. Have Overlay Capture just in case you're going up against a deck that has exceeds like Blue Eyes. Card of Sanctity, just in case you need to draw some cards. A lot of prevalence to add, like. Cards to your hand. Block attack, just in case you have to get over something. Zodiac Barrage, so you get to choose which one the I get on the field. That's all the spells, slash monster. <laughs> so I have two ghosts from the past, because I get to banish. Well, they, well, you can trigger them to some monster changes. Attack to zero. Then I have Zodiac Gathering. I store a mirror for stop attacks. Pure merges, because you can bring out a Zodiac just in case your opponent stops your, like, solemn uh, Zodiac Rapture for some reason. A premature return. This is why I banish that cards that banish, because of this one card. And then Magic Cylinder to stop an attack. Magic Drain. Try to read to draw. Life Intervention. So flip effects don't work in this case you're going up against crawlers. Friends are energy power up so you get combo so yeah. Punch in the box and you gain and destroy and your force destroy all time seal. This is an overpowered card to me because you get to stop the next draw phase. Just get that out of here. If your opponent's next draw phase step look. Your opponent's skips their next draw phase. His slash for next turn. Like that is overpowered. Okay. Final card we have. This is just in case you're going just in case you have to. Don't use it if you have your only Kathy on the field. Torrental tree. That that's all the traps for the extra deck. We have one Zodiac cat. And that's pretty much it. It's not really competitive deck, it's more like I la 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 I win. That's only 38, you can add two cards. Because originally I was running these two band cards, because this is just a fun deck, like, I'm planning to use it when a tournament isn't happening, so, yeah. I, do, I was going to run those. 
but now it's time for probably what you, you are here for. The Blue Eyes Deck Profile. I'll start with the obvious three blue eyes. Core part of the deck. Some people run to, but I don't really think that's smart. They run to Dragon Spirit of Light. Free gets cloggy. That's pretty <laughs> obvious. One Malefic Blue Eyes, because they only have one alternative. So, <laughs> after have to run more, an extra. That's basically my backup alternative. I run another alternative. I run Blue Eyes Chaos Max. And yeah. I run a Manju to search for Chaos Max. If you do not have Chaos Max in your hand, search for him, because I only have one copy of him. If you are copying this deck, <coughs> I just copied him. This deck <coughs> is also focusing on blue eyes at the same time. So I already won one mm. Chaos Max, that's why I didn't get more than one. <coughs> Plus, yeah, what the plus was gonna be. There were two mathematicians, because you get to send like a master to the grave or like a white stone. It still has use, it's just not better than like foolish burial. Have three masters with eyes of blue. It's to replace sage till I get sage. I run two maidens. Because you can do the same thing with Master, but it works from the grave and it goes back to your deck. It's also good if you're going up against a deck that just gets rid of all your cards. Then you can just activate the effect, shuffle them back in your deck. As long as you have effect monster. And here's a card to combo with it. White stone. You know, I have t I run two white stones because I don't know, one ancients. I only have one agent, so for now. But once I get my second, that's one. Probably the common version, because I like hollows. But the common version's gonna go. Then I run one agent, and that's all my monsters. I run three dragon shrines. Focus. Uh, because. Cause you could just send like white stones to the grave, blue eyes and stuff, dragon scared of whites. I run three terraforming. The search for mausoleum. I run two mausoleum. The reason I run three of these and two of these is because um oh, I only have two of these. Plus it that co the combo works no matter what, so yeah. I run two polys. And the yeah, ultimate ultimate. Run two or thousand because you can combo it with mausoleum, so you get to summon two guys. Plus, you don't take two thousand that turn. Plus, you have lots of little ones. You have two advanced ritual to summon to summon chaos max. The nice thing about it is you don't have like this is a severe advantage. You don't have to do it from your hand. Make it much easier. I run two Silver's Cry. I don't have a turn of the Dragon Lord, so I run, I run two of it, even though it does get cloggy. And it's just a good card. It's just a clog that I'm okay with. And you can bring back, like, an all, like, you can bring back, like, a Dragon Spear of White and, like, swinging your opponent in wind. I run one Melody. Only have one. Funny thing is, I just got it from like a free like card. I read one MSC. So I have twin twisters. Replace it if you have twin twisters. One trade in. Because I don't have as. Because some people run three alternatives, so I only two. One foolish oh, burial. Sick. Yes. Because you could send a monster to the grave, I run a soul charge. And those are all a 
love the spells. I do not run traps in this deck. Traps have gone so useless. I don't even remember. Because you just, if you run a trap, you're going to get hand trapped. Hand traps are superior. So I run one. Well, actually, I can run an ultimate. Two Neo ultimates. I would run a third Neo ultimate, but just in case you run. So I'm like, activates a card. Like, I know that there's a card that does this, but all of a sudden, both of those like to the grave. So if you can't summon one, well, then that's your backup. And these are in here because. You can attack your opponent, activates effect, send um like that to the grave to attack you, swing to your opponent, destroy another monster, then activate again, swing and attack directly, and then you can also send twin burst to the grave and swing and attack directly for game. It's really annoying. And twin burst can attack twice, so you can't be destroyed, so we get so powered. They're on one as a rise, because you get to bring out. Like, you, you can bring out, like, Dragon Spirit of White and Banish stuff. So you can bring back, um, Blue Eyes. That run, so you can bring out these guys more. That run one, number 62, Galaxy Eyes, Prime from Conjuranda. It's strong, 4,000 attack points. So, yeah. That run one, Galaxy Eyes, Psycho Dragon. It's an awesome card. One, one Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Can you get to negate effects? Make it so you can just swing your opponent win the game. Then I run one. This deck does have a few swings to do it. Because it's my favorite mechanic I've made. Then I run a Silver Princess Sprite. I like to call the mechanic that it goes through dump. Because you're literally just dumping your deck looking for spells. Because it's a fact, you can just send like a master to the grave. So you can like first turn send like the white soul to the grave, add a bless your hand, and the next turn send a master unit to the grave, and then and then dump her for a blue eyes. It's glitch, just a good card. We're on two tri gates because you get to the gates because you get more link zones, and any you get an extra loops. So that's this episode. Bye everyone.